was the rubber match for the Diamond Hogs in LSU today after an 8 to 3 win last night they were looking to get two in a row against the Tigers we are back in Fayetteville. We'll start off in the bottom of the first. It's the freshman Tyler Spoon with the base hit to left. He brings in Jacob Mahan. Diamond Hogs take the early lead over the Tigers. 1-0, but top of the third, Alex Bregman deep left. Brian Anderson couldn't get to that one. It was a two-run shot. Tigers up two after that. Bottom four, after he homers in the third, Jordan Ferris does more damage. A base hit brings home Ficacello. It's tied at three, but we go to the 10th. This is where the Hogs unfortunately run out of gas. LSU goes up one after a sack fly by Sean McMullen. Let's go to the board. The Hogs had the chance to go down five to three. Van Horn tossed, by the way, after an LSU player ran outside the baseline to avoid a tag. Here's Coach fired up after the game. Pretty simple. On to some football. Brett Bielema is expecting 50,000 or more on April 20th. Last year's spring game attendance was just over 45,000. But coach says he's got a plan. Instead of ones going up against the twos like last year, it'll be ones versus ones, and that ought to bring out some fans. All right, you can catch the spring game this Saturday at 2 p.m. on Cox. An Australian has never won a Masters, but Adam Scott was looking to make some changes in history today. Here he is on the 18th. Sinking the birdie putt, he takes the lead, but not so fast. Aussie. This is Angel Cabrera with a great approach on the 18th. He birdied that hole. And guess what, Roger? It's playoff time now. Second playoff hole coming up right here. Cabrera goes for birdie. Does it go? No way, Angel. That calls for a club toss right there. Yeah, don't hit your face. That gives Scott the chance to win it all. And that's what he does. Your first Aussie winner in the history of the Masters. Well, coming up after the break, we're talking rugby. Stay with us. Well, it's a team you probably don't pay much attention to, but you might want to check up on them. They don't dunk, score touchdowns, or hit home runs. That's because it's the Little Rock rugby team. I would never rather play any other sport than rugby. It's a sport that's often overlooked here in Little Rock, but definitely not forgotten. They're more talented, I think, than regular American football, but it's just a lot more fun to watch, a lot faster paced. It's everything I love about football, minus everything I hate about football. So there's like less breaks, they can tackle anybody, everybody can hold the ball. But it's not football, it's not hoops, and it's not baseball. But why rugby? Uh, rugby is one of those sports that uh, it'll change your life. Um, I didn't pick it up until after college. And uh, you take everything that you enjoy from basketball, from football, combine them into one, and that's rugby. It takes a stellar athlete. You gotta have strength, speed, and endurance. And the ability to work well with others. As they hit the field with their rough and tough swagger, these guys say it's rugby that requires the most teamwork out of just about any sport. It's a brotherhood. It's, it's a super camaraderie game. It's a game which um, individual effort, um, you know, where you may play a great individual game, you still can't do anything without your team. Um, everybody gets to catch the ball. Everybody gets to pass the ball. Everybody gets to run the ball. Um, so everybody is offense. Everybody is defense. They play both ways. Jordan! Head coach Donna Thomas started out playing basketball in college. Why did she switch? Rugby seemed to be a better fit for me because I got to hit people and not penalized for it like basketball. But whether it's hitting, tackling, running, or kicking you like, just know you don't have to be Superman to play the game. It's been said to me before, I'm not tough enough to play rugby, or look at me, I'm tiny, or look at me, I'm fat. Well, if you look at my team today, not all these guys came to this sport looking like this. It, it makes you want to be a better person. It makes you want to get in shape. It makes you want to be part of something greater than you've ever thought you could be in as an adult. 